Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a morning routine, but on the weekend. You guys seem to love my morning routine videos, so I thought I would show you how we do things on the weekend. It's definitely a bit more relaxed. There's no rush to get anywhere. The boys are allowed a little bit more sugar at breakfast as well. So I'm gonna show you my cleaning tasks. I'm gonna show you how I get the boys ready and then how I get myself ready, the makeup I wear, the clothes I wear, all of that stuff to get us out of the house on the weekend. So I hope you enjoy this more relaxed routine and let's get into it. So we come downstairs in the morning when my youngest son wakes up. He's still in a crib, so when he shouts out for me, he kind of wakes up the whole household and dictates when everyone wakes up. But we come down to our kitchen living area, and I really try to leave it clean and tidy when we go up to bed the night before. Um, but today, you can see on the clock, they've woken up at about 5 to 7, which I'm pretty pleased with. Anything after 6 a.m., I will take. And when we came downstairs this morning, they started playing with their water beads. I bought these these because a friend of mine really recommended them said it kept our kids busy for ages and it's currently the summer holidays and it's been really rainy so I just got them on Amazon um, you basically put them into water and they grow over the course of the day and they feel funny I think they're like sensory play obviously only get these for kids that are three and over Jackson's nearly three and never puts anything in his mouth so I finally felt confident enough after a little while I'll line the boys up at the breakfast bar normally put on um, some music or a show on the Google Home while I get them some breakfast. So this morning they all really wanted to have Cheerios and milk so I'm going to get them that but I'm definitely going to get them something else as well because that doesn't keep my boys full for very long at all. But they're going to start with that and on the weekends I'm definitely more relaxed with what the boys have for breakfast. If they wanted to have something a bit more sugary than normal like jam on toast or Nutella on toast they can have that but only on the weekend Monday to Friday it's porridge it's cheese toast it's protein pancakes healthier foods and hopefully that's a good habit for them to get into they can have treats but really it needs to just be like on the weekend I'm also going to give the boys their vitamins they have two of these every morning and they always remind me if I forget to give them these um, and I'm also going to give the boys some fruit I tend to give them fruit every morning and I try to have fruit as well and it's the summer here so the strawberries are really nice so I'm just going to cut some of those up and give that to the boys and then the two big boys want to have some toast this morning so we're going to do jam toast and I try to get the big boys to make their own breakfast especially in the week not so much on the weekend but Caleb really likes doing it but I cannot explain to you how painful it is to watch you just so want to take over but I'm really trying not to uh, trying to get the boys a bit more independent um, and being able to do their own thing you know for the future and all that stuff but it takes forever and it's really hard to watch um, this squeezy jam has made it a little bit easier for them as well um, it's got like no lumps it's just really simple for them to just squeeze on the toast like you would ketchup or something um, and they all really like using it so he's just gonna do that and then spread his jam on um, I've really sped this up because honestly it took so long I've also taught Caleb my little pizza cutter hack um, of how to cut toast really quickly and then they're actually gonna sit on the couch with their toast it's really cute the boys have just recently started getting into watching my old videos um, like rather than TV shows they'll say oh can you put on Christmas 2016 or Caleb's birthday or Jackson's birthday so they've really been enjoying watching my old videos which is really really cute um, then I'm also gonna make Fraser some toast he wanted to have one cheese and one jam and I'm doing it with a very clingy um, Jackson in tow he wanted me to hold him the whole time I was making it I don't know he seems a bit funny this morning when Matt comes downstairs, he's gonna make our breakfast, and today we're having protein pancakes, the same ones I've been talking about for about five years. I'm so sorry if this is boring, but we just genuinely have these all the time. He's making a double batch, so he's done two bananas, 
four eggs, almond butter and baking powder as well. You just whiz it all up in a Nutribullet, Nutri Ninja, something like that, and then fry it like a pancake and it's really yummy and healthy. Um, so we're gonna have that, Jackson's gonna have that, and he also wanted to have one of these suckies while it was cooking. It's just a yogurt pouch, but he really likes them and there's no nasties in them. So he just sucks it straight from the thing and then this is his little protein pancake. He prefers this over toast and I prefer him to have it because I think it's that bit more protein as well. Then Matt it always, every single morning, makes grapefruit. We have this special little grapefruit knife which makes it so much easier to cut up because sometimes it can be tricky to cut grapefruit. Um, but this is very much part of his routine so he's going to make that for us. Um, we're also going to have some coffee and then this is my breakfast, my little protein pancake with maple syrup berries and I'm just gonna have that with my coffee and while I'm eating the boys are at the table doing drawing they're obsessed with it at the moment they have so many markers and they've really got into it I can't believe I've got to this point um, because Fraser was never into coloring but they really love it we do this three marker challenge all the time it's so simple but my kids really love it so you choose three markers you can do it with your eyes closed or you can just choose three markers and then you have five or ten minutes to color as much as you can of one um picture in a coloring book and then there's normally a winner i'm getting really into it here um and matt's normally the judge it's me against caleb today so i'm doing this while i'm eating my breakfast this is my beautiful artwork but of course caleb always wins um so now i'm gonna eat my cold pancake after all that coloring and Jackson is still eating his as well. He's also gonna lick all of the maple syrup off of the plate. This is a new thing that he started. Um, and I don't blame him, to be honest, it's delicious. But once everyone is finally finished all of those breakfasts, it is time for me to have another coffee and then start with the cleanup. So I'm just gonna put everything into the bin. Of course, I tried to get the boys to help me put things in the dishwasher, but I'm a lot more chill on the weekend. I'm not gonna make them. They don't have to do their chore chart on the weekend. So I'm just gonna put everything into the dishwasher and then give all of the surfaces a wipe down and a general tidy. I asked Matt to help me film a little bit at this point, And then I found this footage while I was editing so you can see how much he loves helping me out. But anyway, time to clean up and then this happened while I was making my coffee. Uh, what's going on here? Don't film it. We've run out of milk so I'm taking it out of the kids' Cheerios. Oh, nice. Somebody needs coffee. Exactly how she likes it. Some black coffee. Oh, that's a Cheerio. Hey. While I'm cleaning up, the boys are still coloring and I'm not sure if you noticed, but they're actually wearing clothes rather than pajamas because yesterday we went to a barbecue, we ended up staying later than we had planned and then we got home at about 8 p.m. and the two little ones fell asleep in the car on the way back. So we just transferred them straight into their beds. So because of that, they did not have a bath last night. So I'm gonna stick them in the bath this morning just to give them a bit of a wash. They love having a bath anyway, but they do actually need a wash today. Um, I do tend to wash the boys every single day, so I'm just gonna wash their faces and then get them out. We're going to an event in London today. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get them ready, and every time I get Jackson out of the bath, he loves for me to do Rockabye Baby with him, even though he's nearly three years old, he's still my baby. Um, but yeah, just gonna get them dressed, wish it was that easy, and then I'm gonna put on a film for them today. It was The Incredibles, and then I'm gonna leave them downstairs with Matt while I go up and get ready. Normally, one of them will follow me up um, quite soon after I get ready, and today, as soon as I put my scrunchie in, Jackson was there. <laughs> he just came up the stairs with a caramel rice cake in his hand. So I normally stick him on my bed with my phone. He loves to play a few different games um, and he's just gonna sit there. He's really sweet. He just kind of chills out while I get dressed. He just likes to be near me, which I'm not gonna lie, I, I do kind of love. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna get ready. I got this little um, like travel Elemis kit that Matt got me and I took it on holiday with us. So I'm using that cleansing balm today and then I'm also gonna brush my teeth while my face kind of dries. I'm using my electric toothbrush um, from Oral-B. I, I love brushing my teeth, I do it for ages every day. And then I'm gonna use a soothing toner again from that little kit 
and I'm using a Bobbi Brown eye cream this morning. I'm also going to use this hydrating treatment from Kate Somerville. I've loved using this because I've had so much sun lately from our holiday. I feel like my skin has really needed this. But while I'm getting ready upstairs, Matt is also brushing the boys' teeth downstairs and doing their hair as well. We tend to use an electric toothbrush to brush their teeth and we will do it for them. And then we say to the boys, now you have a go and get any spots that we've missed. That's what our dentist have recommended. Um, so yes, we'll do that and then Matt will do their hair. He's really good at this. He knows what he's doing. I'm terrible at this. A few of you have asked for boys hair tutorials. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see this because I'm trying to convince Matt that it's a good idea because a few of you guys have said what products do we use etc. But then I'm going to brush my hair through and if I'm honest it kind of needs a wash so I'm also going to use my dry shampoo because I haven't got time today to wash my hair. It's the Aveda one that I've had for so very long, it's lasted really well and I do really like using it. Then for my makeup I'm going to start out with my concealer, it's the same one I've used for a very long time, it's the Clarins um, Instant Concealer. I use it in number one which is really brightening and I feel like I have quite dark circles and I've also got a little friend there that wanted me for a minute um, but yeah I'm just gonna put that on and I'll often do around my nose as well because that can be quite dark and then I'm using a new product which is a Chanel Soleil de tan it's quite dirty um, but a few people recommended I try this especially when you have a tan and I bought this um, to take on holiday with me and I've really loved using it I tend to apply it with my Bobbi Brown foundation brush and you can put this on under foundation or on holiday when I was really quite tanned I just used this as a foundation so yeah if you put it on underneath it kind of shines through and it's a nice texture gives you a really nice natural glow um, so yes I've really enjoyed using it but today I think I do need a little bit more coverage on my nose as well so I'm using my holy grail Estee Lauder double wear that I've always used I wear it in 3N1 which is ivory beige and I'm just going to put it on the places where I can sometimes get quite red which is my nose and kind of just on like my cheeks a little bit and my chin so I'm just going to apply that with my finger and then buff it in with the same foundation brush then in terms of bronzer, I'm still a massive fan of Benefit's Hoola. I've used this since university and I just love it. So today I'm using the caramel color and I just contour under my cheekbones, on the top of my forehead and then under my chin as well. So I'm using the caramel and when I'm really tanned, I can also use toasted, which is very dark. So be careful when you use this. But again, just a little bit on my cheekbones on the top of my forehead and then under my chin and neck as well. And I'm also gonna apply a little bit of pink blush. I just feel like this always makes me look so much healthier. And then for my eyeshadow, I'm terrible at eyes, but this makes it really easy. This is the Bobbi Brown eyeshadow sticks. I just put like a brown one in the corners and then a lighter color in the middle and then I just rub it in with my fingers and it makes it really, really simple. If you're in a rush, it kind of looks pretty good. Um, so I've really been loving using those. Then on to brows. I've had microblading done, but I do tend to use like an eyebrow gel just to add a little bit more color and then to also tame my brows a little bit. And then for perfume, this is one I've used for 10 years. It is the Jo Malone Dark Amber and Ginger Lily. I really love it. I started wearing it on my honeymoon and it's the best. Then I caught Matt coming upstairs with loads of laundry. You can see he's just thrilled with the amount of laundry we have to do in his house. And then I'm going to do my hair. I'm using a Babyliss curler. I like the way it curls my hair, but frustratingly, I've taken this on holiday with me a couple of times and it never works when we're away. Something to do with the voltage. And does anyone else try and do this while they're doing their hair? I'm also trying to make the bed and multitask. But anyway, this is the effect it does to my hair. And this is my makeup for the day. Um, then once um, I'm ready, I'm just gonna really quickly run around and just tidy the rooms a tiny bit, just simply because the boys are still happy. I'm gonna make the beds. Jackson is my little shadow who's helping me. And then I'm also gonna make Caleb's bed just really quickly and then straighten out Jackson's room. Pull up the blinds, we have electric blinds and then a little roller blind as well. 
make his little bed and then put away all of the books and toys that we were playing with last night. I've also just noticed that his bin is full, so I'm also gonna empty that out. It's because I just got him a few new pairs of pajamas, so like all the packaging and stuff is in that. But now we're finally ready to go out. It's about 11 o'clock now, so we've had a really chilled out morning. So I've just said to the boys, get your shoes on and I'll sort out Jackson's shoes. Today, his outfit is pretty much from Zara. We really like Zara kids for the boys. But one little tip is to always buy the size up because I do find their clothes can come up pretty small on my kids. We also just got these green um, Nike shoes for Fraser and Caleb. And I really like the color of them. They tend to go with everything that they wear wear um, so really pleased with that buy and Fraser this morning he's got a new shirt from Zara that says always look ahead on the back and I'll show you what I'm wearing as well right so we're finally ready and Matt is just putting the kids in the car so I thought I would really quickly show you what I'm wearing today super casual because it's a Sunday and we're just having a little family day out so I've got this t-shirt on which is from ASOS it was a brand called reclaimed vintage and I just liked the design on it so I've just got this white t-shirt it's quite long so I'm wearing it with leggings these are my Fabletics leggings they're actually for working out but they're so comfy I'm just wearing them today um, just as my outfit um, but because this is quite boring Wearing, just the white and the black I'm wearing my leopard print trainers these are from uh, public desire on ASOS I think um, and there's just like a little bit of animal print on that so I like that then I've got my Garmin watch on this monitors my steps and calories and my sleep and everything and I've become obsessed with it um, so I really like that and then I've got my little starburst necklace on where is it? There it is. And my normal rings and everything. And then in terms of jackets, I couldn't decide whether to wear my Zara denim jacket or my black cardigan. So I'll show you both. So this is the first option, my little Zara jacket. It's all cropped. So this is quite sweet, but I just got this cardigan from Hush. I've been wearing it nonstop because it's so cozy and it's actually raining and really gross out today. It's like a sweatshirt material. I don't know if it's showing up, but I cannot tell you how soft this is. And it's got pockets, so it's just really practical, but I'm not sure if this is just very like black and white. So I might wear the denim jacket but anyway I like both of them this is going to be so great for like school runs and just to be like cozy and stuff um, now that it's pretty much becoming autumn <laughs> Yes, but anyway, we're off out now and I chose the denim jacket and the last thing that I wanted to show you is my lip color. I tend to always put my lip color on in the car or when we're nearly where we need to be, but this is a Bobbi Brown lip tint. And we're off out for the day. We're actually going to London. Um, it is a work event. It's like a fun day for the kids, but while I'm there, I am doing an Instagram post um, for my Instagram page. If you don't follow me over there, I'd love you to come and check it out. Um, so yeah, so though it is a fun day, I am doing a tiny bit of work. Um, but yeah, it should be really good. There's like rock climbing and stuff there. So they're pretty excited about it. But anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed my weekend morning routine with the family. And and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys. Churches. Oh yeah, guys. Say bye. bye. We're off to London. They're eating all the snacks already. Bye.